Today we're going to look at five cities in the world which are sinking. Wouldn't want to be in one of these. First up, Beijing, China. The land under Beijing is sinking by as much as four inches per year because of the overconsumption of groundwater. This is according to research that was published in the journal Remote Sensing. The rate of sinking threatens the safety of public and urban infrastructure, you think? This is because uneven sinking could damage trains, buildings, and other structures. Experts from China, Spain, and even Germany have worked together to analyze data from satellite imaging and global positioning sensors, and they track changes in the ground level from 2003 to 2011. Their findings were first drafted earlier this year and revealed that the city's Chaoyang District, which is home to Beijing's growing central business district, is sinking the fastest, at a rate of more than four inches per year. Researchers also estimated that some areas sink more than 30 inches over the study period. Number four, Mexico City. Mexico City is the world's third largest city with a mere 18.7 million people, but it is sinking far more than experts had originally predicted. Scientists are alarmed by the extent to which Mexico City has sunk over the last 100 years. In fact, parts of the city have sunk as much as 42 feet and sections of the city sink as much as eight inches a year. The sinking has caused the city's sewage system to back up, very nice, resulting in dangerous flooding. And the sinking is the result of water that's being pumped from the aquifer which is directly below the city. It's being pumped out more quickly than it's being replenished. In case you didn't know, Mexico City was built in the middle of Lake Texacoco and this has been drained. So pumping water from the aquifer directly below the city is actually causing the city to sink. Roughly 70% of the city's water supply comes from the aquifer that's below the city. It's the very last vestige of Lake Texacoco. Because the rate at which the water is being pumped is exceeding the rate at which it can be replaced, it's weakening the city's foundation. And it's essentially become a mud-like lake bed. Number three, Venice, Italy. Unfortunately, Venice may soon have to ditch its nickname of the floating city as it is sinking into the water more than five times quicker than previously thought. Venice sunk about 120 millimeters in the 20th century due to natural and human causes. In addition, the sea level rose about 110 millimeters. These two things in combination are not good. A range of measures, such as restrictions on groundwater extraction, were introduced to stabilize the problem. But a recent satellite mapping suggests that these may not be enough as the city is still subsiding by one to two millimeters a year. Scientists say the city is also tilting to the east and heading out to the Adriatic Sea as it is hit by more floods than ever before. Previous studies have shown that water levels in the former capital of the Maritime Venetian Republic had stabilized, but the new research claims it is actually submerged and tilted to the east by an unprecedented two millimeters per year over the last decade. Number two, this is a surprise, London. London is actually sinking but very, very slowly. The land is made mainly of sedimentary rocks and since erosion is becoming a big problem environmentally, London has started to sink. On the other hand, Scotland is actually rising as a result of the ice being lifted, melting away to nothingness. But back to England, it is now sinking at double the speed due to compression of recent clay deposits as well as many parts of the land being eroded away. Global warming is also a continuing problem in the world, causing sea levels everywhere to rise. This also includes London going under where the coastlines are rapidly declining yearly. Not only is London sinking, but the coastlines everywhere in the world are rapidly declining. And number one on our list, Washington DC, USA. Washington DC is where the powers that reign over the United States reside and it is sinking into the ocean. Scientists predict that the land underneath the nation's capital will drop more than six inches in the next hundred years, according to new research from the University of Vermont and the U.S. Geological Survey. Surprisingly though, Washington's sinking land is an entirely independent phenomenon from the rising sea levels, which scientists have attributed to climate changes in the past. The rise of sea levels in the region could be attributed to climate change and the melting of glacial ice, according to the report. According to research from institutions like the National Climate Data Center, NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, global sea levels have risen about eight inches since reliable record keeping started in 1880. Those sea levels are projected to keep rising another one to four feet by 2100. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking on the like button and do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up with my next video.